Hi, so in this video I'm going to be talking about something really interesting and this is something I've known about for a little while and it's something that's always been on my uh, wanna have list and I recently bought one. Um, it was regular price $40 and uh, a, re a local retailer in my town was uh, selling it for half price, $20. So that's what I paid for this. Uh, it's a 75 watt power inverter. It's made by a company called Blue Hive and it comes with uh, a little instruction manual and a spare fuse. And the main reason why I bought this is because it enables you to plug this into the cigarette lighter in your car. And on the other end here, we have a USB port, but we also have an, a regular AC wall outlet right there. Yeah. So basically you can use anything in your car up to 75 Watts, uh, that you would normally use with an AC power outlet. And, uh, the maximum power is 75 Watts. And there's actually a little diagram on the back here that shows a bunch of different devices. And if you look at this chart, it basically explains uh, what you can use with this, with this power inverter. So it basically says that if you have a portable music device or a digital camera, that usually requires up to 10 watts. Uh, a smartphone or a tablet requires 25 to 30 watts, and a laptop would require about 60 watts. And that's a main reason why I bought this. Uh, the job that I have, I use my laptop a lot and I'm usually on the road. I do presentations at a lot of different schools and organizations and I ha often have to bring my laptop with me. Now, often when I go and do these presentations at various places, usually there is um, an outlet that I can plug into and use and have my laptop plugged in while I'm using it. But not always. There are many times where there simply are no wall outlets available or it's on the other side of the room and I can't plug into it. So it's very, very important that my laptop is always charged and I frequently find that I have to do that. Well, with this device, again, the main reason why I bought this is so I could have an AC outlet that I would be able to plug my laptop into in the car and be able to charge it and make sure it's always running. Uh, so yeah, that's basically the main reason why I bought this 75 watt power inverter. Um, so basically later on in this video, I'm going to actually take this out to my car and plug it in and I will take you with me and I will show you this device and I'm going to try plugging my laptop into the AC outlet on the end here. And again, you've got the AC outlet and you also have a little USB port as well. So I'm hoping this thing does what I want it to do. Um, basically, I'm hoping it does, you know, the, the reason why I bought it, I hope it's able to do that fairly easily. I don't think it should be a problem. Um, but yeah, this is sold by a company called Canadian Tire. Uh, if you are Canadian, I'm sure you're very, very familiar with Canadian Tire. There really isn't an equivalent to Canadian Tire in the United States. So Canadian Tire in a nutshell is basically a department store. They have houseware, hardwares, they have a paint section, they have uh, hunting and fishing supplies. Yeah, so it's basically uh, a hardware store, but attached to the hardware store is also a garage where you can get your car worked on and you can also buy tires and other automotive accessories. So it's sort of like a cross between a, an automotive place and a department store and it's quite popular. There are stores all across Canada and uh, it's been a popular store for my entire life as long back as I can remember. And that's where I bought this Blue Hive power inverter. And looking at the back, uh, if you read the fine print, it looks like this device was specifically made for Canadian Tire. So anyway, uh, I will crack this thing open. I'll take it out to my car and plug it in. And as I mentioned, I'll try plugging my laptop into the AC outlet and see how it works. So let's go see how this thing works. Okay, so I've plugged this uh, inverter into the cigarette lighter socket in my car. And just out of curiosity, if you're wondering what kind of car I have, it is a 2020 Nissan Kicks. So as you can see, I've plugged the inverter in and I'm going to do a little test. Basically, I'm going to plug in my laptop. I have my laptop right here beside me and I'm going to plug it in and see if it will go into charge mode. Let's give this a try. So I'm just going to plug this into the socket. Okay. 
And as you can see, it's showing that it is working. It is charging my laptop. So this uh, inverter is working fine. I am able to use it in my car and I am able to charge various uh, devices in my car using it, uh, whether it be a tablet, um, a, a digital camera, um, a music device, and a laptop. So as you can see, uh, this is a very handy device. And again, I have to emphasize, you can only use this for uh, very low wattage devices. So please don't think that you can suddenly use your hair dryer in your car because you have one of these or you can use your uh, toaster oven. It's just not going to work. It's only intended for very low wattage devices. But as you can see, my laptop definitely is charging. So that's a look at this 75 watt power inverter. Uh, as you can see, it definitely works, and it seems to be working very, very well. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you can join us again next time. Please feel free to leave a comment, give us a thumbs up, and as always, please subscribe to my channel. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. We'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye-bye.